A few weeks ago I went to spark up the barbecue for dinner and it should normally sound like this. But instead it did this. And after some testing I figured out it was the button. Water had easily gotten inside of it and corroded it. And the barbecue was about two years old. So I took a trip to my local Home Depot to see what the buttons were like on their barbecues. This one wasn't weather protected. This one seems to have a rubber seal in it. No seal on this one. This one doesn't. And on almost all of them they use the same button for the light switch. Not here. Same with this one. No seal here. And definitely no seal here. So let me show you a simple hack to prevent this using a juice bottle. So what you want to do is grab one of these juice bottles and make sure it has the lid. And you'll notice on all of these styles of juice bottles, they all use the same lid and they have the same threads. The ones you're looking for will be an inch and a half in diameter. And you can see how all of these lids are interchangeable with each of the bottles. So I'll first remove this ring. Then you want to cut the top off right here under the flange. For this step, make sure the lid is on. And now we want to just clean up this edge. A sanding block works good for this. I've got these great squishy foam ones. They have Velcro and it makes it really easy to swap out the sandpaper. I usually have two kicking around, one with coarse sandpaper on it and one with fine. And what makes these sanding blocks so good is it uses the sandpaper that most orbital sanders use. I'll have them linked in the description under the video, along with a box of assorted sandpaper. Then I gave them a quick rinse to get the plastic dust off of them. And now just place it over the button and eyeball it to get it centered. Take a pencil and mark it at three spots. Add some small pieces of tape. Now we'll apply a small amount of all-purpose silicone one. And at this point it's best to have the lid on. Now use your finger and apply a small amount all the way around the inside of the circle. Now line it up with your tape and give it a gentle push downwards to squeeze the silicone down. And now you want to give it 12 to 24 hours to dry. And make sure you're not going to barbecue on the day that you do this. The black lids blend right in with the look of your barbecue. And now the rainwater can never get in to harm the switch. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, subscribe, and hit the bell to get notifications, and we'll see you next time.